Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with the next AutoCAD video and today I will be telling you about the basic AutoCAD commands and the most used commands in AutoCAD uh, specific to CSEC or CXC building drawing all the commands that you will need to know alright so let's start with lines so the line is the command that you will use most often and to select the line you can either click on line or you can type l enter and when you type l enter or you click on line to draw a line you just click somewhere to start and then you can insert the measurement for the line so if the line is 10 millimeters you just type 10 and you have your line and then to get rid of this line right here you just press escape or you can press space bar so you press space bar and the line is gone now because the line was the last command that you used if you want to select a line again you don't have to type l enter or click on line you can just press spacebar again so what spacebar does is it gives you the previous command beside line we have polyline now polyline is similar to line except that it treats a series of lines as one single line so if I draw a line right here like that and I want to draw next line here and I draw an X line there, like that, and do that. Then it will treat all the lines as one. So if I hover my mouse over this figure, it will highlight all the four lines. While if I should do the same thing over here, you will see that if I move my mouse over one of the lines only that line will be highlighted the next three lines will not be highlighted so polylines uh, when you use the polyline it, th it treats all the lines that you draw as one line okay then we have rectangle if we want to draw a rectangle instead of drawing four different lines we can just select a place to start and it says to specify first corner so we just choose a point to start and if that rectangle is say 20 by 30 we just type 20 comma 30 and then you'll have your rectangle that is 20 by 30 so that's how you do a rectangle we also have circle if you want a circle you can just click on circle or you can type circle and press enter you have different ways for drawing a circle you can draw a circle between two points, between three points, you can draw a circle using the radius and and the center or the diameter and the center. But for the most in most cases it's just uh, we use the center and the radius. So you just click on the circle, select a place to start, we want to place a circle. And you click and let's say the radius for this circle was forty. We just type 40 and press enter. Okay, so you type 40 and press enter. Okay, and um, if you were using center and diameter, then you just click, click on that, click here to change it from center and radius to center and diameter. You click on the circle choose a place to start and this time because we're using the diameter if the diameter is, if the radius is 40 then diameter is 80 so instead of typing 40 we type 80 enter you see these two circles are the same size all right so that's how we would go about using the circle we also have arc and there are different ways for drawing an arc the one that is used most often is start center end so it's like this 
so you can just click on that one so you come over here and right here it says specify the first point of arc in the command bar right here specify the first point of the arc so that's the place where we want to start and it says specify the center of the arc so let's say from the end to the center was 20 so we'll type 20 enter and then we will have our arc right there see so that's it right there and you just press enter and then escape or spacebar okay so uh, yeah and you have your arc right there so um so that's that uh in the next video i can talk about the ellipse because there's so much that this can do and also hatching so i'll do these two in a different video so i'm just going to do all of these and these right here because those are the most used uh icons or commands in autocad so right here now we have to move so if I wanted to move one of these, I could just click on that and I can click on there to move it and it says specify the base point, so I select where I want to move it from. So let's say I want to put it over this circle. I could just click on this center and then move it to that circle right there. So now the two circles are on top of each other. And uh, there is also the rotate tool. and. Uh, as the name suggests, rotate, you use it, f you use it for uh, rotating objects. So you click on rotate, you click on where you want to rotate the object from. So if I wanted to rotate it from the center, I could do that. And then I could rotate it, I just move my mouse like this. And I can rotate it in the direction that I want. Alright, so see, I just rotated it like that. Alright, so beside rotate, you have the trim tool. So for the trim tool, you can just click on it and press enter. And you can use it to trim up different lines. So see that I just cut that line and that line. So other than selecting trim, you can type TR and press enter twice and then I could use the trim tool just the same now the trim tool will not work if there's just a line by itself it has to be a part of something so you see right here that won't work because that's just, that's just a single line okay and this will not work either because these are single lines and it, it wasn't used with uh, polylines alright so yeah, it can't be just a single line. Okay. Alright. So, for a single line, you'd have to use the erase tool. So, right here, you can click on the erase tool. And then you can use it to erase. So, you just click on the erase tool. Click on what you want to erase. And then you press enter. And it will be erased. Okay. And um, we have the copy tool. So, I can click on copy. And select the object that I want to copy and press enter select where I want to copy it from so if I want to copy it from here and I can copy it up to there and I can copy it as much time as I want alright so that's the copy tool and beside the copy tool we have the mirror tool so the mirror tool so I can click on the mirror tool click on the object that I want to mirror or I light it so to I light it you just click in the space and make sure you cover the entire object that you want to copy or mirror sorry and then you press enter and select where you want to mirror it from so if i wanted to mirror it from here I just click on it like that and it mirrors it and then i just click and then it asks if i want to erase the source object this is the source object so if i don't want to erase it i just click no and it will keep both of them 
and that's how you use the mirror tool it's a very useful tool okay we also have the fillet tool so I have two lines here if I wanted to join them I would use the fillet tool so I'll click on the fillet tool and click on the first object that I want to uh, fillet and then it's gonna ask me to select the second object so I click on the second object Oh, those two won't work let me just put an next line real quick okay so line like that and a next line right here okay so if I have something looking at that like an L and I want to join them with a smooth curve then I can use the fillet tool for that so I can click on the fillet tool or I can just type fillet and press enter then I click on those two lines sorry so I click on the fillet tool click on what I want to I press enter there and then it's gonna ask me for the radius so I type R enter and then I'm gonna write the radius for the art that I want to fillet so if I want to fillet by 15 I type 15 enter and then right there you can see the fillet and that's how you would get that smooth curve right there so again I can undo that and to undo you can just press ctrl z so let me go over that again so when you have that shape right there like that l shape you click on the fillet tool you click on the first object you want to fill it you press enter it's going to ask you for the radius you type r enter then you type the radius in this case it's 15 and you press enter click on the second object right here and then you have your fillet okay so we also have the offset tool okay so I can select the offset tool and I can specify the distance that I want to offset so if I wanted to offset this right here this line by say 10 or 15 I type 15 press enter click on the line and I can offset it like that and I can just keep offset it, offsetting it so it's, it works uh, a bit similar to the copy tool alright so yeah so that's all we will do in this video uh, we do not need to go into the scale and the stretch as yet and I don't want to make the video too long so in the next video I'll explain those I'll explain text and dimensions and everything over here and I'll also explain the layers and I'll explain what all of these down here mean alright so I hope you enjoy the video